I first heard about RTB when Hugh Ross came and spoke at Iowa State. I was a sophomore physics major, and believe it or not, I'd actually been reading Genesis earlier that year and wondering how the length of time and the order of creation events lined up with what I was learning in my physics classes. And so I actually asked for some time to meet with Hugh and talked with him personally and answered a number of my questions and gave me the tools to develop a scientifically credible testimony. After I had that conversation with Hugh, I recognized that I actually wanted to pursue a career in science apologetics. So not only did I get a physics major, I picked up an astronomy minor and went into astrophysics in graduate school because that seemed to be where science and faith intersected a lot. After I graduated with my PhD, I moved out to California for some research, was able to get involved with the volunteer training uh, program that Reasons to Believe had and ultimately joined staff. So seeing and hearing and interacting with Reasons to Believe has dramatically affected the trajectory of my career. Many of the people I know largely thought that young earth creationism was the only biblically credible way to look at things. My scientific ability and biblical training, uh, largely influenced through my studies with Reasons to Believe, has helped me articulate to people how you can have a scientifically credible faith and it's strengthened them not only in their personal faith, but also in their ability to go out and share Jesus with others. I would have to say my favorite reasons to believe in Christ is that Christianity is true. Um, I, I, in my apologetics career, I am less convinced of any single argument, but far more convinced that Christianity is the best explanation for all we see as we study history, the Bible, the scientific data, the state of humanity, that the Bible is the best explanation for everything that we see. And so if Christianity is true, that's what I want to follow.